Is memory training too much work? Is it worth the work that you have to put into memory training to get good at it? In other words, is it gonna pay any results? Are you going to be able to really learn quicker? Are you gonna be able to memorize faster? Is it gonna help you in your studying? Is learning a memory system worth it or is it too much work? I'm a two-time USA memory champion. I used to hold the record for the fastest to memorize a deck of cards in the United States. I was recently coaching someone on how to have a better memory. She was studying for a, a medical exam test. And she said, Ron, okay, I get what you're saying, but it just sounds like a lot more work than just memorizing the information. In other words, this is what she was saying. I have this information that I need to memorize. You're telling me that I need to create a memory system and I'm gonna have to create all these components of the system, these two or three things, well, these two or three things plus the information, that's more information than just memorizing the data. Initially, you're right. Initially, it's more work. I'm not gonna lie to you. Initially, it's more work. But once you have invested the work and you invested a little bit of time in building a memory system, I'm gonna suggest to you that in the long run, it's going to accelerate the learning process. You'll be able to memorize more. You'll be able to learn faster. You'll be able to understand faster. Example on this, and you might've heard this story before. I'm out here on my land and I got trees all around. Let's imagine there's a contest right now between two people. Person number one, a young guy and he starts chopping down the wood and he we're gonna see who can chop down the wood the fastest you got a young guy out there and he's just chopping down a bunch of wood you got an older guy over here maybe 60 years old and I say go young guy starts chopping down the trees old guy starts sharpening his axe he's just sharpening that axe and you're looking at the old guy and you're like dude get going this young guy's gonna beat you He's like, I got it, I got it. He takes 30 minutes and sharpens his ax. Then guess what happens? He begins boom, 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 chopping down trees. And he does it at a much more rapid pace than the young guy, and he wins the competition. Just because you don't start chopping wood right away doesn't mean you're gonna lose the competition. If you take that time to sharpen your ax, to sharpen your saw, because it's gonna enable you to chop faster and cut quicker. Memory training is the exact same way. Yes, you have to learn a system. You have to learn a, a formation and build these file cabinets in your brain. But what you're doing is, is you're sharpening your ax. You're sharpening your saw. You're creating images for numbers, images for words, and places to store them. That other person's over here just memorizing away. They've just started and they don't have a plan on memory. They just go after it. You're over here creating that memory system. No big deal. And then once you start memorizing, look out. Look out. Because your brain is sharp. You've devoted the time. Memory training is not too much work. Initially it is. Initially you're gonna have to sit down and you're gonna have to think, okay, these are my pictures for numbers. Or this is the mind palace, I'm gonna master it. If you don't know what the mind palace is, I'll put a, a description down in the comments, or the, the video description below. I think it is the best memory system out there. Um, but it's basically a system where you visualize information in, in, in locations around a room or on a piece of land or, or whatever. Yes, you, but, and yes, you have to sit down and master the mind palace. I'm not gonna lie to you, you have to do that. But if you spend a little bit of time up front, it's gonna pay dividends in return. Here's an example. You go to the grocery store today, and I say you can't take a shopping cart, you can't take a basket. Just go around the store, and anything you can carry, you can buy. Well, you get about seven or eight things in your hand, and then you go to the cash register, and you, and you buy it. But if you had a cart, a basket, you might be able to get 50 items. What is the difference? The cart was holding the information, so or the groceries, so you could get it to the checkout stand. You can put a lot more in a cart than you can carry with your arms. Your memory is the same way. A memory system is gonna, you can carry, you know, five, six things in your working memory, but if you have a cart, a memory system, you can dump it all in there. It takes a little bit of time to build that cart. Here's another example. Today, I went to the car dealership. I had to get my oil changed on my car, and I also had two holes in my tire. So I sat there for two hours at the car dealership, and as 
I waited for my car, they patched the holes on my tire, and they changed the oil. Let me ask you this. When you own a car, what do you have to do? You have to get the oil changed. You have to put gas in it. You have to make car payments. If the holes get patched, if the, hole, if the tires get a hole in them, you have to patch the tires. You have to maintenance the car. So why would you do it if it takes all this work? Well, you do that because if you want to go somewhere, you can get in the car and drive 200 miles and it's not going to wear you out. You'd be able to drive 200 miles in a day. Easy. But if you were just walking there, could you walk 200 miles in a day? There is no way. However, to have a car, you have to put oil in it. You have to change the oil. You have to put gas in it. Yeah, it takes a little bit of work. It takes more work than just walking there. And you could just start walking right now. But all that maintenance in the long run is going to pay off. Uh, in 2009, I memorized a deck of cards in a minute and 27 seconds at the USA Memory Championship. Do you think I could have memorized 52 cards in 87 seconds without a system? I'll tell you right now, I could not have. I memorized the United States Constitution last year, 4,543 words. Could I have done that without a memory system? I could not have. But I had these systems built. Once you build the systems, you can use them over and over again for the rest of your life. The work is all front-loaded. It's done at the beginning. So take some time, learn memory systems, and the, it's the, you're going to see some rapid rapid acceleration on your ability to memorize. You're sharpening the ax. You're carrying in the shopping cart through the store. If you want to learn what the Mind Palace is, I have some videos down in the description, but I also have a black belt memory course. You know when you get a black belt in karate? Well, you can get a black belt in memory and learn how to master this. I'll put a link to my black belt memory course in the in the description. There's a free gift there for you. And if you, at that blackbeltmemory.com website as well, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I do tons of videos on improving learning, improving memory, uh, improving understanding, learning anything faster. So subscribe if you like that kind of stuff, and I'll see you on the next lesson. Booyah.